It is a bright and cheery day in Toyland, and everyone is up and about, except Roddy. <gasps> Who could that be so early in the morning? Good morning, Miss Pink Cat. What are you doing here so early? It is not early, Noddy. In fact, it is rather late. More, in fact, you are late. Me? Yes. You were supposed to pick up my ice cream cones from the train station this morning. When you didn't bring them to my shop, no one could buy any cones. And I had to walk all the way to the station to get them. It's not late. In fact, it's only five o'clock in the morning. See? No, it is almost lunchtime. Your clock must be broken. It's not ticking. Oh no, the clock is broken. Miss Pink Cat, I'll have my clock fixed today. Then I'll pick up some new ice cream cones for you tomorrow. I promise I won't sleep late. I do, I do, I do. I certainly hope so, Noddy. Car. We've got to hurry to Mr. Sparks' garage and get my poor clock fixed. I don't want to be late again. Miss Pink Cat will be very cross with me. I will not be late, cos I care a lot. When I set a time, I show up on the door. Being late is rude, rude is what I'm not. That's why I will always get there on the door. Aha! Noddy, I worked out why your clock didn't ring this morning. Why? It's broken. The ticker's not ticking, and the ringer's not ringing. I know that, but can you fix it? Mm, it's a challenge. I like it! I can fix anything! Great! In a few days. A few days? Well, okay. But how am I going to wake up on time tomorrow, Mr. Sparks? Mr. Sparks? Maybe I can borrow a clock from Tessie Bear. <gasps> Tessie Bear, oh. wait for me! Oh, hello, Noddy. Bumpy Dog and I are going to play fetch in the square. Do you want to come? <laughs> Thanks, Tessie, but I need to ask you something. Can I borrow your alarm clock so I'll wake up on time tomorrow? Sorry, Noddy. I don't use an alarm clock. No clock? Then how do you get up so early to feed your chickens? <laughs> That's easy. I just listen for the rooster. When he crows, I know it's time to get up. That's a great idea. Tessie, do you think I could borrow your rooster? <laughs> of course, Noddy. Come on. Let's see. I keep my clock here on my table, so I'll put you there instead. OK, Mr Rooster. Let's practice. No, no, no! You stand there and crow, not stand here and peck my bell. This will never work. I won't be able to sleep with a rooster on my head all night. And if I can't sleep, how can I wake up? Noddy, are you home? Must 
Mr. Tubby Bear, come here. I need your help. Hi, Noddy. What's wrong? I was supposed to pick up ice cream cones for Miss Pink Cat, but my alarm clock broke. I can't let her down again tomorrow morning. <laughs> I know. I live right next door. Why don't I tie a string around your foot, and when my alarm clock rings tomorrow, I'll pull the string to wake you. Yes, and when I feel the tug, I'll know it's time to get up. Oh, thank you, Master Tubby Bear. <laughs> no problem. I'll tug you in the morning. <gasps> oh no! What if the string breaks when it's pulled? I'd better check it. This part's good. This part's good. So is this. This too. Not bad. OK. Good. <sighs> well, that took a long time. But everything looks good. So now I can get back to sleep. <gasps> what if Master Toby Bear let go of the string? If he dropped it in his sleep, he may not find it in the morning. I'd better make sure he still has it in his hand. Ouch! Noddy, you just pulled me out of bed. Sorry, Master Tubby. I wanted to make sure you still had the string. Well, I do. Now go back to sleep. Hmm. <gasps> Maybe my bed is too far away from Master Tubby's house. I'll move it closer to the window. get back to sleep. Hey, I'll get a nice glass of warm milk. That's what Big Ears does when he can't sleep. <sighs> I suppose milk wasn't such a good idea after all. <sighs> Is that Miss Pink Cat again? Wake up, Noddy! Wake, Wake up! up! Noddy, you're late! Again! How can that be? Master Tubby was supposed to pull this string. I did pull the string, Noddy, but it was broken. Oh no! When I fell down last night, I must have broken it. You don't have time to feel bad, Noddy. Get dressed or you'll be late. <gasps> Hurry, Sleepyhead! The train leaves in two minutes! All ready. Everyone to the station. No train? Oh dear, I've let Miss Pink Cat down again. Hello, Noddy. Hello, everyone. Miss Pink Cat, what are you doing here? I was worried that you might oversleep again, so I came to the station myself. I'm sorry I let you down again, Miss Pink Cat. Oh, silly Noddy. You weren't late. You were right on time. Today it is the train that is late. My ice cream cones won't be here until lunchtime. <laughs> <laughs> I should have slept in.